Hello again. In this video, we're going to talk about the small signal model. Now, in the first video of chapter 3, we talked about the ideal diodes and we said that it has two modes of operation, forward and reverse. When it's forward, it becomes a short circuit and when it's reversed, the diode becomes an open circuit. For the non-ideal diodes, we have three modes of operation, forward, reverse, breakdown. Um, in forward, the diode gets represented as a voltage source and its value is VD, default value is 0 0.7. For reverse, it becomes open circuit and for breakdown, it's out of service. It got broke down. Okay, so in order to analyze the forward bias region, there are three ways to analyze it using exponential model. We said it's the most accurate. The constant voltage drop which is the simplest and most commonly used and the last one which is the small signal in this uh, tutorial we're going to talk about the small signal model okay now in order to solve the circuit using small signal model we need to do the following first in a small signal you will have an ac and dc component ac and dc sources ac is represented by a, a small letter uh, DC is represented by a capital letter plus uh, a circle a voltage source represented by a circle is an AC and a, a voltage source represented with lines is what DC okay so in order to solve a circuit using small signal model we need to do the following first of all we need to kill AC and keep DC how do we kill AC we kill AC by sh making the source as short circuit Okay, we need to, to calculate ID and RD. RD is the incremental resistance, which is the resistance within the diode. Then we kill DC and keep AC. This has to be AC. Okay. Fourth step is to replace the diode with resistance RD and then find the requirements or perform the small signal analysis. Now, in the small signal, we have two equations one of them is rd equal to vt over id vt is a thermal voltage which is 25 millivolt at room temperature id is the current across the diode now this equation is used to find requirements for one diode only whereas the other equation is used to find requirements for all the diodes at once so the other equations the other equation is delta v naught so here it's naught, not the overall, equal to delta ID multiplied by RD total. Okay, now delta ID is a total current drop across all diodes, but all the current drop across all diodes is the same because all of them will be in series. So ID on one will be the same as on all. Okay, and delta V naught is the total voltage drop across all diodes, whereas VD is the voltage drop across only one diode okay now let's start taking examples the example is as follows v plus is equal to 10 plus minus 1 volt there's a resistance r equal to 10 kilo ohm we have one diode and it's grounded with v output okay we are told that r is equal to 10 kilo ohm v plus is equal to 10 plus minus 1 volt voltage drop across the diode is 0 0.7 at id equal to 1 milliampere okay the question says find delta v naught using small signal analysis okay let's begin so first of all you need to take note that this is what it's the sample okay now what does v 10 v plus v plus is 10 plus minus 1 volt right what does that mean what does this mean if i want to draw its waveform how do i draw it now the waveform of v plus uh, will be as follows we need first to go to the dc component 10 is dc and plus minus 1 is ac how did i know this it's because here there's a positive and minus sign it's changing ac is alternating right 
So plus minus is the AC component and the 10 is the DC component. Now if I told you to plot the waveform of this one, only this, plus minus 1, how do we do it? We go plus minus 1, right? 1 and minus 1. Here, what is the DC component? The DC component here is 0, right? Which is the offset. It's the offset. Now, if I tell you that DC is 10, so we need to go to 10. This is the offset. Okay, and then we add and subtract 1. So it will be as follows. Okay, this is 11. This is 9. Okay. So in order to find delta V naught, we need to perform the small signal analysis, which is, which, sorry, which says the first step is to kill AC and keep DC. Okay. So here we will have V plus equal to 10 volt only R and we have the diode. Now this is the output. As this is the high potential and this is the low potential, we, we, will, we will find the physical current. The physical current is as follows, right? So the diode is on. So the diode is on. The diode will be replaced with a voltage source and its value is 0 0.7 just a default value it's not this because this is the sample okay now for step number two we need to find id and rd id is equal to ohms law right because this is id if this is id then it's equivalent to i id is equal to i which is equal to 10 minus v naught over r v naught is the vo total voltage drop across all diodes you have only one diode and in the question i did not mention what is vd so vd is the default default okay so vo is equal to vd multiplied by one diode so it's equal to 0 0.7 so here we're we're having 10 minus 0 0.7 over 1k equal to 9.3 milli ampere okay this is id for rd rd is equal to vt over id vt is 25 milli volt divided by 9.3 milli this is equal to 26 Point 0.9 ohm okay now this resistance is for one diode only actually we only we are having only one diode in the question but i'm just saying for one diode diode okay because here i said that this equation is used to find requirements for one diode only okay moving on the third step is to do what the third step is to kill dc and keep AC. Let's do the fourth step also. Replace diode with resistance RD. Okay. So the circuit will be like this. V plus is equal to plus minus one volt because it's AC. Here we're having the 10 kilo ohm. Right, it's 10 kilo. Uh, yes, it's 10 kilo ohm. Okay, the diode will be replaced with R, D, okay, and here there is the V naught, okay. Step number five is to find the requirements, which is delta V naught, okay. So, now, what is delta V naught? What is the relationship between delta V naught and V naught? Note that delta means change, which is AC, right? Change. And change is AC. Okay. So V output, is it AC or DC? It is AC actually. Why is it AC? Because the input is AC. This is the input. The input is AC. If the input is AC, the output will be AC. So the output is AC and it's changing. So delta V naught is V naught. And in order to find V naught, how do we find it? Multiple ways. One of the ways is, which is the simplest, voltage division. We will say plus minus one multiplied by rd divided by rd plus 10k okay plus minus one 
what's RD? RD is um, 26.9 divided by 26.9 plus 10k. This will give us plus minus um, 2.68 millivolt. Okay, so this is the answer. Now, if you, if you are asking how did I do it using voltage division, just imagine that you have bent it from here. So here you're having the voltage source, one volt. This is the 10K. This is the RD. Okay, and you're finding the output across RD. How do you do it? Through voltage division, right? Okay. So we have solved the first question. Let's move on to the second question. The second question says the following. Here we're having 10 volt resistance, one kilo ohm, three diodes. Okay. And here we're having a load resistance. It's disconnected for now. And it's also equal to one kilo ohm plus minus V naught. Okay. <laughs> V naught is equal to 2.1 volt, RL is 1 kilo ohm. So part A says calculate delta V naught using small signal analysis and V plus has 10% change for part B it says find delta V naught delta V naught when load resistance RL is connected okay so here initially there is load resistance is disconnected okay and we were provided only with the DC component. What is the AC? If we read the question carefully, it says calculate delta V naught using small signal analysis and V plus has 10% change. Now the AC component is 10% of 10, which is equal to one volt. So the AC component is plus minus one volt. Okay, so let's start analyzing for part A. First step is to kill AC keep DC okay so here we're having V plus is equal to 10 volt resistance 1 kilo ohm 3 diodes grounded and V naught okay for step number 2 we need to calculate V uh, sorry we need to calculate ID and RD Okay, ID is equal to I, right? Now, yeah, I, I, I was going to say something earlier, but I forgot. Why didn't we use ISEVD over VT? Do you know why? Because this is an exponential, this is for exponential model. We cannot use it, we cannot use it in small signal, okay? So let's continue. ID is equal to I which is equal to 10 minus V naught divided by 1K, which is 10 minus 2.1, V naught is 2.1, divided by 1K, which is equal to 7.9 milli, okay. Let's calculate now RD, RD is VT over ID, which is equal to 25 milli divided by 7.9 milli, which is equal to 3.2 ohm. This is for only one resistance uh, for one diode. If you want to calculate the total RD, then you, you need to multiply it by three. Okay. Step number three and step number four, let's do them together. Step number three is kill DC, keep AC. 4 is replace diet with R D. Okay. Now 
V plus will be plus minus one volt. Here there's one kilo ohm, three RDs. And the ground, the output. Okay. Now, for for the last step, which is finding the requirements, we need to find delta V naught. What is delta V naught? We said that it's similar to or equivalent to V naught because the input is AC. If the input is changing, then the output is changing. And now, to find V naught, we need to do voltage division. Three R D divided by three R D plus 1k it's similar to this 1 kilo rd rd and rd grounded this is also grounded v output okay so here you will get 3 multiplied by 3.2 divided by 3 3.2 plus 1k this will result in 9.5 millivolt. This is the answer. Answer for part A. Now for part B, load resistance is connected. Load resistance is disconnected. Let's redraw the circuit with the load resistance connected. Okay. 10 volt plus minus 1 volt. 1 kilo ohm. 3 diodes grounded and the load resistance RL okay this is V naught okay now we're having IL there's ID and this is the original I okay so the question says also to find delta V naught now here the procedure is a, a little bit different why because there's a change in current now there's a load resistance so we have to use this equation the equation that we haven't used so far which is delta v naught equal to delta id rd total so when do we use this equation you use this equation whenever there's no load resistance and then you connect load resistance or vice versa when there's a load resistance and then you can disconnect load resistance so when there's a difference in current you have to use this equation okay Let's do it. Delta V naught is equal to delta ID RD total. What's RD total? RD total is 3 multiplied by 3.2, right? Which is 3 multiplied by 3.2. Now, for the delta ID, delta is change. Delta ID is change, which is ID new, new minus ID old. As I said earlier, actually in the previous video, I said new means in this current part, whereas old is in the previous part. So ID new is actually this one, okay? ID old is this. This is ID old, okay? Let's continue. So what's ID new? We need to find it. How do we find ID new? We will do KCL. So it's I equal to ID new plus i l i d new is equal to i minus i l i is equal to what now you need to think of it see before we connected the load resistance the upper part of the circuit is the same as this one it did not change right so i here is the same as the total current source here so what's i i is actually the same as id which is equal to 7.9 milli okay so i is 7.9 milli minus il il we need to calculate it now il is equal to v naught over rl we're doing ohms law here v naught is equal to what i think it was 2.1 right yes it's 2.1 2.1 divided by RL. RL is 1K, so it's 2.1 milliampere. Okay, so it's minus 2.1 milli. This will give us minus actually 5.8 milliampere. Okay, now 
plugging this number in here minus id old what's id old id old is we said it's the same as id old is the same as the total source okay which is 7.9 milli so it's 5.8 minus 7.9 milli which is equal to minus 2.1 milliampere plugging this number here we will get minus 20.1 milli volt okay this is the answer now what was the hardest part in this in this part of the question the hardest thing was finding delta id it's not hard but it's a bit lengthy now you can use there's an easier way to for finding delta id it's actually always equal to minus il you can take it as a rule CIL is 2.1 just put a minus in front of it and you're fine okay why is that I will prove it to you Delta ID is ID new minus ID old and the new is we said it's KCL it's I minus I N I minus I L minus ID old okay now these two components are the same so they cancel each other and what are you left with? You're left with minus i n. So that's why they're equal to each other. Okay. Moving on. Let's take another question. The question says I D is equal to one milliampere. There is one diode in the circuit. We need to find delta i when delta v is equal to minus 10 millivolt use small signal and use exponential okay let's begin so using small signal analysis. In small signal analysis, we have two equations, right? We have RD equal to VT over ID, and we have delta VO equal to delta V, uh, delta ID, RD total. Now they are looking for delta I. Where's delta I? Delta I is in this equation, okay? So let's begin with this. Delta ID is equal to delta V naught over RD total. What's delta V naught? Delta V naught is given to us. It's minus 10 millivolt, minus 10 milli. What is RD? We do not have RD. We will have to find it out. So RD is equal to VT divided by ID. VT is 25 milli. ID is given to us. It's one milliampere. This will result in 25 ohm. Now this is only for one diode, for one. We need to multiply it by the number of diodes to get the total RD, right? Because this requires RD total. This is requiring RD total. So RD total is equal to RD multiplied by number of diodes. If we read the question, you will notice that there is only one diode in the circuit, so it will be 25 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 25 ohm. So 25 goes here, and you will end up with minus 0 0.4 milliampere. This is the answer using small signal model. Now using exponential model, now using exponential, exponential model, you will get more accurate answer. The only equation that is an exponential is ID equal to ISEVD over VT. And I said, I told you before that in order to get rid of IS, you divide by the same equation. VD over VS. IS and IS, they cancel each other out. Okay, and the numerator is the new. Denominator is old. Okay. So here you are ha you're having ID new divided by ID old 
equal to e v d new minus v d old divided by v t we're looking here for what for delta i but where's delta i here delta i is not visible in this equation however delta i is equal to i d new minus i d old and I, as i said earlier that i d new is now in the current part and i d old is in the previous part but it won't be in the first in part number one because we're comparing small signal with exponential so this is the old id it's in the question it's one milli and id new we will have to calculate it from here so id new is equal to what it's equal to id old exponential this entire thing is what it's delta v d okay now this is delta v d divided by v t id old is one milli exponential what is delta v d delta v d is this is d actually this is o delta v d is what delta v d is delta v o divided by the number of diodes but we have only one diode so it's the same minus 10 milli over 25 milli and you will get this to be minus 0 0.3 sorry you get it to be 0 0.667 6 0 0.67 milli ampere okay subtracting this number from 1 milli you will get minus 0 0.33 milli ampere okay as you you can notice that this is more this is close to this one but it's more accurate okay we're done for this question let's move on taking another example 15 volt resistance r we have four diodes V output, IL, ID, and I. Okay, we're given that VO is equal to three volt, IL is zero ampere, meaning no load resistance. Delta V naught is equal to twenty millivolt. Delta ID is equal to one milliampere. Okay, question says for the first part use small signal model to find r second part find is third part find delta v naught using exponential model model f i l is equal to one milliampere okay great let's begin for the first part we need to use small signal model to find r and as we're looking for r then we have to do we're forced to do ohm's law 15 minus v naught over r as uh, over i okay <coughs> sorry i is equal to kcl i is kcl it's id plus il il is zero id we need to figure it out it's not equal to this this is delta v id it's not equal to id id we need to figure it out it's equal to i s e v d over v t are we allowed to use this equation no we're not allowed reason being this is exponential and and we're looking for what small signal okay so we are forced to use these two equations rd total and rd is equal to v t over i d i'm looking for i d so i have to use this equation okay so i d is equal to v t over r d v t is 25 milli r d is unknown but i can use this equation to find r d delta v naught over delta i d delta v naught is given delta i d is given so it will be 20 milli over 
1 milliampere, which is equal to 20 ohm. Okay. Now, this is the total resistance. I am looking for only one. Are the total divided by the number of diodes? How many diodes do we have? We have four diodes. Okay. So here it's 20 divided by 4 equal to 5 ohm. 5 ohm. This will give us again 5 um, milliampere. Milliampere. Okay. So 5 milli plus 0 is 5 milliampere. This will give us. 15 minus V naught. V naught is what? V naught is actually 3 volt. Divide by 5 milli. This is 12. 12 divided by 5 is 2.4 kilo ohm. Okay. Let's move on to part B. Part B is asking for IS. Now, the only equation that has an IS is the exponential. VD over VT. So IS is equal to ID over exponential VD over VT. What's ID? ID is 5 milliampere. What is VD now? VT is 25 milli. VD, we need to figure it out. What is VD? VD is equivalent to the total overall divided by number of diodes. Okay, because VD is the voltage drop across one, and this uh, this entire thing is VO, so VD is equal to VO divided by four. VO is three. Three divided by four is zero point seven five. Okay. Plugging this into the calculator will give us four point seven times ten minus sixteen ampere. Now, this answer is a correct answer. Why? Because of this very small power. Okay. M moving on to part C, we need to find delta V naught, but using exponential model. And we were given IL. IL is 1 milliampere. So let's redraw the circuit because now we, we're having a load resistance. So here we have a 15 volt source, voltage source. This is V0 with RL, unknown, but IL is known, equal to 1 milliampere, grounded, and here we have our four diodes, grounded, okay? This is ID, and this is the total current I. Now we need to find delta V0 using exponential model. The only equation in the exponential model is ID equal to ISE VD over VT. And in order to get rid of IS, we will divide by the same equation. IS and IS, they cancel each other out. The numerator is the new. Denominator is old. We're looking for delta VO. So here, this the simplification of this will be as follows. D new minus VD old over VT. Okay. So this entire thing is what? It's delta VD. Delta VD. Not O. Delta VD. Why is it delta VD? Because as I said in the previous video, this equation is used to find requirements for only one diet. Okay. Let's continue. So delta VD is equal to what? Delta VD is equal to VT len ID new over ID old. Okay. What is ID old? ID old is in the previous part. So we got the previous part. What was ID? It's 5 milli. Right? Here. It's 5 milli. Okay. So ID old is 5 milli. But what's ID new? ID new is in the current part. So we need to do KCL. I is equal to ID new minus I, sorry, plus IL. So ID new is, new is equal to I minus IL. I is what I is. Um, what was I? Yeah, I is similar to ID old because here they were in series. Okay, so it's 5 milli. 5 milli minus 1 milli, which is IL. 
so this will result in 4 milliampere okay so here vt which is 25 milli len i denu as um, i denu is 4 milli divided by 5 milli which will result in minus 5.5 millivolt don't forget that this is only delta v d for one dial for one delta v naught is number of dials multiplied by delta v d so it's 4 multiplied by minus 5.5 milli which is equal to minus 22.3 millivolt okay so this is what this is the number of diodes i hope it's clear i know it's a little bit confusing but if you solve a lot of questions um, you will get it okay let's take another example let's say we have a 5 volt we have r okay here it's rl and this is v naught v naught is equal to 1.5 volt rl is 150 ohm vd is 0 0.7 volt at id equal to 10 milliampere find r b find delta v naught when load is disconnected it's exponential model okay So let's do it. How do we find R here? R we need to do Ohm's law, right? We need to do Ohm's law. So this is I, this is ID, and this is IL. So R is equal, this is the first part, R is equal to 5 minus V naught over I. I is equal to ID plus IL. ID is not this. It's not this because this is the what sample. Okay, so how do we calculate ID? There are two ways: either small signal or exponential. It wasn't it wasn't mentioned, so we need to think a little bit. For small signal, we have delta V naught equal to delta ID RD total. Do we have RD? No, we don't. Do we have deltas? No, we don't. So it's a bit it's unsolvable using small signal with the current information so we are forced to do it using the exponential id is equal to isevd over vt divided by the same equation okay is and is they cancel each other out the numerator is the new denominator is old okay so id nu is equal to this is id nu because we're looking for the current id equal to id old exponential vd nu minus vd old over vt okay id old is the sample which is 10 millivolt sorry 10 milliampere exponential vd nu is vd now which is equal to V output divided by number of diodes, which is two. So it's three divided by two. Sorry, it's 1.5 divided by two, which is 0 0.667, okay? Actually 0 0.75, 75 volt. Now, 0 0.75 minus VD old, which is the sample, 0 0.7 divided by 25 milli will give us 73.9 milliampere okay so here it's 73 milli plus il il is v naught over rl 
v naught is 1.5 divided by 150 which is equal to 10 milli ampere okay 73.9.9 milli plus 10 milli will result in 83.9 milli ampere so now we have found the total current and it's time to calculate r 5 minus v naught which is 1.5 divided by 83.9 milli will give us 41.7 ohm okay now for part b we need to find delta v naught when load is disconnected let's redraw the circuit so we don't get confused v is equal to 5 volt 5 volt here we have a uh, one r and then we have two diodes okay this is v naught so now i is equal to id okay we need to find delta v naught id is equal to i s e v d over v t divided by i d or equal to i s e v d over v t i s and i s they cancel each other this is a new new old old okay so delta v d is equal to uh, v t len i d new divided by i d old v t is 25 milli and this is len ID new is the current the current now sorry it's here and ID old is the previous current which is here when load was this when load is connected okay okay so this is the old okay but I'm going to erase it so here what's ID old ID old we said it's what it's 73.9 now even though I'm saying here it's ID new but this is ID new compared to its part okay ID old was the sample when we were in part A but now we're in part B so the old is part A ID in part A so here it's what it's 73.9 milli and ID new is ID new is equal to I and this is similar to this so it's equal to the source which is 83.9 okay 83.9 milli ampere so here we're dividing 83.9 milli by 10 by 73.9 milli and we're getting 3.17 milli volt okay now delta v naught is 2 times delta v d which is 2 multiplied by 3.17 milli which is equal to 6.35 milli volt okay let's say we want to calculate v naught find delta v naught but using small signal small signal model and and uh, and the load resistance is disconnected load resistance is disconnected okay exactly the same as part b but instead of exponential we, we are using the small signal let's redraw the circuit my recommendation is that whenever there is a load resistance whenever load resistance is disconnected or connected keep drawing the circuit again and again so you do not get confused between the new id and the old id okay i and this is id this is id new now right okay so we need to find what we need to find delta v naught delta v naught is equal to delta id rd total okay what's delta id now delta id is minus i l right but minus i l when load resistance is connected here load resistance is disconnected so this does not apply we need to do this 
we need to do um, id new minus id old what is id new id new is the current the, new, the current in this part so id new is equal to i which is equal to um, which is equal to 83.9 right 83.9 milli 9 milli ampere okay so here we're done with this what is i the old i the old is the i in the previous part what is i in the previous part now in the previous part it does not mean it's in part b why because a b and c we're doing the same thing but it's using different model so the old is actually part a so going to part a id in part a is 73.9 milli 73.9 milli this will give us 10 milli ampere okay so it's actually what it's instead of minus il it is il not minus il okay uh, because il is not taking now il it used to take 10 milliampere but now there's no il so as if you're giving the il back 10 milli multiplied by rd total what is rd total it's 2 multiplied by rd rd we need to figure it out it's vt over id okay vt is what 25 milli and id is the i without load resistance id without load resistance is i and i is 70 uh, sorry 83.9 milli which will give us let me calculate it 25 milli divided by 83.9 milli is 0 0.29 it's 0 0.298 ampere okay 0 0.298 it's ohm so if you multiply it by 2 and then multiply it by 10 milli it will give us 5.96 milli ampere why am why why am i stuck with ampere it's volt okay so this is delta v naught it's 5.96 milli okay it's very close to 6 but as we said exponential is more accurate okay i hope it's clear let's take the last question before we conclude the small signal okay the question is as follows we have a current source i three diodes and vo is is equal to 10 minus 14 ampere v naught is equal to 2 volt part a says find i part b says find delta v naught when load is connected il is 1 milliampere and use small signal okay okay so for part a we need to find i okay he, they did not specify to use exponential or small signal and they provided us with is now id its relationship with i is series right so they are equal id and we can use exponential so it's is evd over vt is is 10 power of minus 14 exponential vd as the output divided by number of diodes which is 2 so the output uh, sorry which is 3 number of diodes is a 3 the output is 2 2 divided by 3 is 0 0.667 volt okay so here it's 0 0.667 divided by 25 milli and you will end up with 3.81 milli ampere okay now let me double check this number 0 0.667 divided by 25 milli 
exponential answer multiplied by 10 power of minus 14 is 3.86 milli okay 86 milli ampere now for part b we will use small signal model and there's a load resistance so let's redraw the circuit here it's nothing grounded we have the current source i three diodes ground this is vo okay now delta v naught is equal to delta i d r d total delta id is what we have a load resistance right rl il is equal to one milli ampere delta id the short or the simple way of calculating it is minus il we have a load resistance so it will be minus one milli ampere minus one milli ampere okay we're left with the rd what is rd rd total or rd as vt divided by id vt is 25 milli divided by id which is what now id it has to be new right this id the current id however rd the calculation of rd has a condition it has to be calculated with no load no load resistance no load resistance okay so whenever you remove the load resistance i will be equal to id right so what's i id is equal to i okay only for calculating rd only for calculating rd id is equal to i which is equal to 3.86 milli okay so here 3.8 3.86 milli will result in 25 milli divided by 3.86 milli is equal to 6.48 6.48 ohm okay this is only rd so to find rd total we have to multiply by 2 okay so the answer will be minus 12 point or minus 13 milliampere minus 13 millivolt this is the answer okay i hope everything is clear and thank you for listening in the next video we will do the nerd diets